Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm gonna do a video about um, Temmi X, which is a cryptocurrency hardware wallet, which is sponsored. By the way, this video is sponsored by them. Um, they just simply uh, gave me their hardware wallet and asked me to do a review and of course it's going to be a, an unbiased review and of course I'm going to be fully transparent about this um, cryptocurrency um, wallet and of course yeah let's get started um, talking about their cryptocurrency wallet so if you have not subscribed please subscribe like and of course turn on the bell notification icon uh, click on it and after that let's get started over here so as you can see this is their web page uh tamex i would pronounce it that way if i'm correct and after that um this cryptocurrency support more than 500 cryptocurrency um in this wallet so they are compatible with bitcoin and ethereum and e uh, most of the erc20 tokens which is technically support two two coins and after that many other tokens to be exact and after that they have military grade encryption and of course this is um, visible, um, done by bluetooth which you are going to use the bluetooth and connect to your mobile phone and of course um, send your cryptocurrency out and stuff and after that this is uh, the encrypted chip inside their Tami X wallet and of course yeah and more uh, security pin code um, and after that completely offline etc etc I'm going to put their website link down below if you are looking to buy a cryptocurrency hardware wallet and I would say their wallet is quite cheap I would say it's quite affordable for a hardware wallet if you are new in cryptocurrency and you only have like Bitcoin and Ethereum and other ERC20 token you may store it on their cryptocurrency wallet and um, I have already tested the wallet out and of course yeah from there we can slowly talk about their wallet and stuff so let's get started with the unboxing so as you can see, this is the hardware wallet that I received from them. It's quite small, around my palm size, the box. And it's kind of nice, the box over here. It has their logo over here and the back. Yep. And behind they stated a like coin and they have not updated on their website, I assume. So let's unbox it and see what is inside. So it's kind of hard to open up. Alright. So as you can see, they have a wonderful Bitcoin um, token over here. Uh, once you purchase the hardware wallet, they're going to give you one small token, which is going to look like this. Yep, it's kind of nice. So the focus does not want to auto-focus it. And I'm going to... Yep, it's not going to focus. So yeah, basically it's just a coin that you're going to see. Uh, you can buy it on Amazon or whatsoever. But once you purchase their wallet, they will give it to you. And after that, this is their hardware wallet. It's small. And of course, easy to carry around. Which they give you a stripe over here to hang around your keys or whatsoever together with it. So yep, as you can see, they have this thing over here. I'm not going to tear it out. And this is the wallet. Basically, it's, it has four buttons to operate. And yep, let's put it aside first. And after that, look at what's in the box. So basically they have a user manual over here. This is the user manual of this Tamex, uh, Tami X wallet. So the content page 1 to 10 is English and others in Chinese. I would say, I don't know, I can't really read it. So included, things that inclu are included, the Tami X hardware wallet, a recovery phase 2 booklet, it is inside over here. I'm going to show it to you later. Two wallet and after that one go to uh, gold plated Bitcoin as a gift, one piece, micro USB-C cable, uh, user manual, and st one strap on the hardware wallet. So this is the USB-C cable, which is kind of short, which is enough for you to charge it because this is a hardware wallet, which runs on a battery. And after that, from there, you do not really need to keep plugging in and use it um, from the website I seen. Um, over here mm, sorry over here so as you can see over here large capacity battery offers uh, use time up to 15 days and after that yeah this is the spec uh, 80 mega mah and after that um, it runs 15 days of using it can be charged through micro usb cable which also comes with the box 
and after that you can charge it from your PC, laptop or any power adapter, your power bank or whatsoever to charge it and let's head back to this unboxing so they're going to provide you two recovery phase booklet like this it is quite solid as you can see on this voice over here it's quite a solid piece of paper they're going to provide you with two because there is um, Bitcoin and Ethereum so there are recovery phases um, to be recorded down onto this two booklet they have provided so I'm going to put it back and after that set the hardware wallet up Yep, so for this, I have already charged it, so I just click on it and you will see this running. Yep. So how do you pair it? Here I have my mobile um, mobile phone connected to the laptop, I mean to the desktop and I'm going to play it. And you are going to see the result, so I don't know if it is it over here. So yep, as you can see over here. This is their hardware wallet um, connecting to the application. So what you're going to do right now is the first step you're going to sign up your account using your mobile phone if not your um, email. So I have registered through the email and got a verification code and enter it and this is what you're going to receive um, without the Ethereum wallet. So the first step you're going to do is click on the, the plus over there. Once you click on the plus and after that you can either create a Bitcoin wallet or Ethereum. So I already created an Ethereum so I'm going to create a Bitcoin. So you're going to um, uh, call your wallet something like whatever your name uh, you like to name it. I'm going to call it test and after that you click on create. So they, were, they are going to show you all these uh, safety tips over here. Please make sure you write it down. So. Um, but I do not know why do they have this option over here when they have not shown me any uh, the code so do not click on this if you have not seen the code I will suggest you to click on the second option going to write it down now so you click on it and after that yep um, it's kind of buggy I would say alright so I get it now so the code is over here these codes over here so you click on create and after that you're gonna see these two option over there these two options they have highlighted please um, write it down first I would suggest like having a improving the wallet in wise like uh, let's say you write the name and you click on create and after that they're gonna prompt you the 12 words instead of showing you the 12 words over here and you can click on refresh so yep so you head over here and after that you click on the you write, write it down on your hardware, um, the piece of paper that they provided for you to store your child face code. So you're going to just write it down and after that, I'm going to hit on create wallet and after that, I have wrote it down and the next step is enter the digit password. I'm going to put 1 to 8. For example, so once you click on it, they are going to show you, um, let me head over here back. So on your hardware wallet, they're going to prompt you um request to write private key information press ok ok to accept c to reject so i'm going to click on ok and after that they say successfully return and after that head back to this monitor too and i'm going to show you over here that my bitcoin wallet has been created over here so you can click on it and after that um, there's no transaction history unfortunately so there's a chart over here showing you that um, this is your overtime like overtime how much you have um, received and of course your balance on your portfolio so the first step you're going to click on receive and of course it's going to prompt you this page over here unfortunately they do not show you any anything on the hardware wallet like showing you this uh, address that they have created so it is quite a flaw i would say compared to many hardware wallet out there they are going to show you it on show it on the hardware wallet to double confirm before you um, giving out the giving out your bitcoin wallet for people to send it over so this is one of the flaws so you can click on the save um, save the code and it's going to download the image uh, onto your mobile phone and after that you can copy the address and after that they will say this copy uh, this address has been copied onto the clipboard so once you head over to any places and you hold it and you just click on on your keyboard they are gonna this gonna enter the 
this uh, address over here so let's head back and after that try the transfer features so this is the transfer feature that is going to be yeah standard so the first thing you need to put is the uh, receiving address of the Bitcoin so uh, let's paste mine and after that transfer the amount I have no Bitcoin inside so I'm going to just put it and I'm going to put test and slow transfer yep so they're going to ask for your two digit pin I mean your eight digit pin which mine is one two three four five six seven eight so confirm and they're going to ask you to confirm on your hardware wallet so this is quite secure I would say in a sense so let me show you the hardware wallet um, over here so they're going to show you this thing again okay and see so request to get the wallet private key information so you're going to click on okay if not cancel these two button okay to um, accept it C to reject so I'm going to click okay and they say gain successful and on back on my mobile it is showing me um, I do not have enough Bitcoin to send it so yep so yeah this is basically how you set it, set it up so if you don't know how to set it up you can read their user manual guide um, which is over here let me show it to you it is over here and after that I have downloaded it um, the first step they're gonna tell you how to use it download their token which is on their app store which is uh, on Google's Google Play Store if not app store just search our token but I would suggest them um, let me be maybe highlighting it to you and you can click on it directly to their app instead of like searching it on your own and you may never know you are downloading the real one or fake app so the next step is create a wallet yep and after they create uh, I've already done the process for you so you can get delete a wallet as well and after that reset it to factory reset um, blah 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 so once you are into their app they are going to guide you on how to connect um, your hardware wallet to your mobile phone uh, blue uh, file bluetooth and GPS and after that I will say how much do I rate this um, hardware wallet a point 10 I would simply give it a 4 because um, it is unbiased and after that the first thing it is they give you uh, a Bitcoin token as a gift it is quite um, good not any company I have seen has been doing this giving you a Bitcoin token as a gift and after that the security wise I am not a professional uh, pen hacker Penetrate, uh, penetrating hacking or whatsoever we call it a white hat, ha white hat hacker which do pen testing I am not one therefore I do not know the security of it via bluetooth but uh, as advertised they say they use military grade um, bluetooth encryption and after that it is completely offline yes they do not use a, a sim card or connect to a wi-fi or whatsoever everything is on mobile app therefore I would say yep it is completely offline and it is quite secure in in a place like um nothing is connected to the wi-fi or a 3g network or whatsoever or 4g network it is quite secure except it is only using bluetooth but bluetooth from what i know bluetooth isn't really secure therefore it is i will not really trust um with bluetooth but there's as we did advertised advertised encrypted uh, chip uh, military grade uh, encryption using the bluetooth so i do not know it maybe they can do um some people which is professional maybe they can hack it hack the wallet on the spot and try to grade it and do a report and after that they can put a report up on the website to prove that it is military grade encryption which is super secure and after that the in inbuilt chip is encrypted 256 bit uh, encryption hardware wallet therefore and I would say the uh, ease of using friendliness of using from a point 10 I would say around 6 therefore uh, why I would say 6 because of their manual first uh, on the manual they do not teach you how to um, pair your wallet pair your hardware wallet onto your mobile device onto our, our token app so you can maybe the A download the app and link it to they have to link it to their original app therefore 
after that um you can they're gonna just tell you create a wallet whatsoever instead of that they can put on more steps and more detail like um how to create an account and after that once you create an account uh, how do you, how are you going to pair your bluetooth with pictures or whatsoever pair your device with the picture and therefore friendliness i would say uh, around six six out of ten and for the expectation i have um seen from this i would have expected um a multi-signature wallet as in Instead of having this, like this Bitcoin 1 address, Bitcoin 2 address, yeah, because once you create a Bitcoin address on this wallet, I am sure that you create one and after that once you receive Bitcoin onto this address that they have provided, once you created the Bitcoin address, it is going to be a permanent one-time address, which is not going to change over time, not a HD wallet, I would say. Therefore, it is a static wallet, uh, we are, which you are going to receive Bitcoins on this uh, uh, single address for many times if i'm not wrong if not they will they are going to change it once you have received it but what i expected was like um something like trezor or ledger once you created a wallet and after that uh, once you click on create wallet it is going to create both wallet like in bitcoin and ethereum instead of creating bitcoin and after that you are going to receive a bitcoin address and after that you have to write down the 12 word um, for Bitcoin and after that once you create another Ethereum wallet you have to write another 12 uh, word phase or of Ethereum um, yeah therefore it is not really user friendly and of course you have to keep writing and after that you have to store multiple piece of paper into safe or whatsoever um, hardware safe that you receive so therefore the battery can last up to 15 days I do not have not really tested it but the wallet it looks um, this wallet over here does not look like what I received therefore I think they have um, a new wallet that is coming out maybe without buttons like Trezor Trezor Model T which you register screen or whatsoever but right now this wallet I received it is all buttons which is four buttons and after that a screen display and after that a charger port with the stripe over it by the way when, when I received this wallet um, I tried to plug in the USB plug the port over there it is quite hard to enter i'm going to show it to you and tell you what i mean so as you can see here this is the usb c and this is the plug and i'm going to plug it in which stuck over there so i scared that i'm scared that if i push it in it's gonna destroy something inside or the usb c port it is too big inside therefore as you can see over here it is quite hard to push it in Take it, taking it out is also quite hard so yep this is the wallet it looks it look something like this and after that it's gonna show you our token over here and the logo yep and I've already connected it to bluetooth so this is a bluetooth icon and if I, I assume this this is the MAC address of the bluetooth and this is the battery over here and this is the wallpaper yep that's all for this review and I hope you like the review so if you like the review or dislike it, leave a thumbs down or leave a thumbs up, whatever you like it. And after that, if you are not subscribed, click on subscribe. And if you are subscribed, click on the bell icon. And after that, share this video. If you are keen to get a hardware wallet that is cheap, which is, I will not say cheap, uh, I will say affordable. So I'm going to show it to you over here. So as you can see here, you can get your 50% money back by reviewing on Amazon. So I'm going to click on it. And after that, send us an email of the order ID and a screenshot that you left, uh, a review that you left on Amazon, which is a good marketing uh, technique, I would say. So it is, this hardware wallet is going to cost you $69.99, uh, round, up, round it up to $70. So $70 for this hardware wallet. And after that, once you do a review, I do not know um, if you need to do a bias or a non-bias review. Uh, you are going to get back 50% of your money. So you are going to get back um, 70 divided by 2 which is around $35. You are going to get it back and after that, once you write a review, a screenshot and whatsoever. Yep, so as you can see the review over here, 24 people have bought this wallet and the review it is um, quite a, I would not say really good as um, 
79% of it is 5 star and 4 is 4 star is 9% and 1 star is 8% so 1 star over here could be great with documentation I wanted to work uh, device to work I spent 2 days uh, reading the sketchy uh, instruction which I think it is true because of that instruction the first thing they're going to tell you is download the mobile app and after that they are not going to teach you how to pair with it or whatsoever but once you download the mobile app you will eventually find option to click 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 so I what I did I was to just explore the app and just click on whatever I seen and after that it asked me to pair and turn on my bluetooth and whatsoever so yep I have paired it and it is yeah user friendliness I would say 6 a point 10 so overall how, what do I think about this wallet for a point 10 I would say because of the um is everything matters is about the ease of using so I would say is it easy to use this wallet yes um but is it convenient not really because the convenient uh wise is just the key face so what i expected was something like ledger if not a uh, trezor what which they are the biggest um, cryptocurrency um, hardware manufacturer right now and of course from what they have done if you are a new company you should have like um follow their footstep like doing it easy the use of the ease of using should be really easy i would say because yeah if you are a new hardware wallet a company and you want to domain the market or whatsoever the first thing that comes to my mind is convenience and of course security this too is the main point so it is good it have has to be easy to use and of course it is has it's gonna be like super convenient um yeah having a mobile app and everything it is cool but um, having um, a hacker to test the wallet, try to hack it and whatsoever, do a video about it and of course do documentation about it and from there you are you can prove that it's really secure as a way because for Ledger and Trezor they have uh, like uh, bounty programs for hackers to penetrate into it and after that uh, do whatever they want and after that from there they're gonna get rewarded for finding this vulnerability and from there yeah from there you can improve the the whole hardware wallet in some ways so this is quite a new wallet and of course it look i would say it looks something like um trezor i would say this over here yeah but yeah this trezor has two buttons but they have um four buttons so if you are keen to get one you can head over to amazon I'm going to leave the link, uh, the website over here, click on it and after that you can follow this and get your 50% money back and after that, from there you can test it out and of course, if you think it's easy and if you think that your friends and family will think it's easy to use, you can get it over here and after that, that's all for this video, peace.